so in today's class I am going to make this menu bar that is navigation bar sticky in some specific uh, you know position for example this is our about page but whenever we are reaching to that landing page at the very first you can see that menu is being appeared here right okay so this one we're going to make it but before that I'll tell you we have two ways of doing the same okay so whatever we have done is a different one and after that I will tell you the the best way but I think uh, you need to know both of the ways that's why I'm just trying to do okay okay so here we have already HTML CSS done by me even the JavaScript also that I will do uh, by the time because I just want to tell you the JavaScript not the uh, what to say making a folder here new folder okay okay demo now I want one file here called I'm sorry index.html okay and another one will be you can see here we have one html file and one more I need to add a CSS for uh, okay CSS nice one style dot CSS okay what I'm doing is I will uh, you know copy this all from shit okay sometimes it happens so no worries here my HTML is and here is my CSS so if if I go to the CSS folder I will just copy this all CSS because CSS is not very tough to write CSS of this web page so now let's check our HTML page see so I have this one that is already done so here you can see whenever I'm doing scroll it's appearing but here here is nothing happening see nothing happened okay because of we need to do the JavaScript for that okay so let's start okay what uh, what what I need to do is just uh, make one JavaScript file right so I just want to save it with the name of script.js and I think so it's already has been added in this the down script.js okay no need to add here okay so first of all what we need to do is to just uh, point out so first I'm pointing out this um, this landing page so with the help I can take it like with the variable const and that is that would be the landing page equals um, document dot it's a query selector and in this uh, we have sorry we have landing okay the class name landing just copy this denoting dot paste here okay we got another one we want is about why about because we have to point out someone and doing something okay so again document dot carry selector okay we are getting some pro getting right yeah. okay now that the class name is about copy from here this from here that's it that's it okay what next i need to do is see okay so i will add an event like window sorry window dot add event listener and that will be scroll and then the function function we can directly uh, no, uh, make function here or we can also call the function so better i will call back okay so call back function that i want to call after after that event happened right okay that function name call back and here okay console dot log i just want to log is scroll just a minute uh, scroll right why i just want to see in the console let's see what is the coming in the console photos no issues let's scroll so see you can see here when when we are scrolling we are getting the numbers for example let's see i came to the zero it's showing zero like as soon as we are scrolling it's going to 
scroll right so this this is how we can get the scroll mode okay and uh, next thing i just need to do is to go for the coordination coordination initial coordination right so phones in quotes okay then i want about about dot get bounding client correct is that to get get exact you know um exact position okay okay yeah, now we can console dot log this also it's in quotes okay see here we got that okay here we height we have a bottom we have left right top and width everything is there x and y so now currently we are see that is happening right so what we need to do is so we are taking see here get bounding client rect okay what we're taking is for about about page okay so about page is the very first one right so what what we can do here is if if about okay about is greater than initial quotes dot bottom okay bottom means after whenever that about page about page is the first one after going to the bottom I, what we need to do is to just uh, add um, add um, one more thing we need to add here is header okay okay document dot query selector and it's header header for the menu okay where okay. we need to do the manipulation no we need header dot class list dot add okay okay and the class list is i defined already is fixed i'll show you where i have defined the class okay but before we'll let check um here my style sheet here i have already defined this class okay so i think it it should work let's check okay one more time what i'm getting here it's not working something happened we can go to the console we are getting some about is ah okay it's not about it's window dot scroll y okay mm -hmm. okay let's check if it's working yeah got it see so you can see here no it's not right but until we are set going to that place it's coming okay? okay so this is how we just do with the uh, windows okay. dot scroll okay okay or scroll event but it is not good why because whenever okay we are getting let's say we have a big page a very large amount of data okay okay so <coughs> sorry. okay it will always keep you know getting data that okay. is not good for the large amount of uh, page that is there okay Okay. So one more thing is like see uh, let's say here whenever I am doing after getting there it's not going back for that what I need to do is same thing else statement okay okay I think you are familiar with else yeah. but uh, let me do header dot class list dot remove and then the same class list okay hope you understand that uh, yeah. the thing what I am doing is see now it's okay so it's coming yeah. going coming going okay but as i told you it's not a very good idea to do in the next video i will tell you about the exact way we just uh, we can do for that okay so stay tuned subscribe and like so that you can get our next videos right okay and at the last let's uh, recap this so we don't need this one what we did is just we took header because we have to add class in header and uh, here about page because of that uh, coordination getting coordination here you can see that the coordination i got and this is i done it for that uh, you know maybe did something wrong okay i did it for the checking purpose what i'm doing is just calling this and this is my function i don't want this also okay 
So this is the small amount. Okay, let me tell you if I am making this comment. Okay, how, how it's working. I made this comment, saving, going back, and you can see nothing will happen, right? Nothing is happening. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because I need to add this event class, this class to that uh, header. Okay. Okay. So whatever the class I was adding with the help of JavaScript, I'm adding here to show you. Now class added. See, it's already there. Okay. It's fixed. Okay. So this is I'm doing with the help of JavaScript. Uh, okay. JavaScript function called. Uh, get bounding client track okay? okay so that's it for this video next we'll learn about the api called uh, you know intersection observer okay just stay tuned